open homebrew.sh on your browser and you will find a command for installing homebrew. We have to run this command from macOS terminal. So let's open our terminal and paste this command as it is and click enter. Now enter your password and you will see all the information of directories which will be created with this installation. So just press enter. That is return button on your Mac. And that's it. The installation of homebrew is completed. We can verify with the simple homebrew command brew list and if there is no error it means our installation is successful. With the brew search command we will search redis package in the brew. So search will return a lot of different packages. We have redis package here and we will also have another yeah, version package over here. So this is a version package we will just go with the redis here in our next command that is preview installed redis this should install the latest version of redis automatically so after running brew installed redis it will take a couple of seconds to install make pro all the directories and stuff and now you can see the install command is finished you can test with simple redis hyphen cli command and see if we can find redis cli so there is no error it means the redis is installed we can also check version of redis with redis hyphen cli hyphen v we installed version 7.2.1 We will start Redis server with simple command redis hyphen server. This will start our Redis server. The version is the same which we installed. And our Redis server is started in a standalone mode. You will understand different modes later. We use the default port that is 6379. You can see the warning here which says that we are not using config files. So just default configurations are used. So the default port is 6379. We will see in later chapter how we can pass in different port or what is the configuration file. So now we will go into new tab as our Redis server is started and from new tab we will try to set some data in this Redis server. Then the simple Redis CLI command which will connect to Redis server you can see on localhost port number 6379 we are connected. Now we can set some data. Use the most simple key value set. So I am setting key is the tech flow and value is subscribe. And now I will try to get this key, get tech flow and it's written the value subscribe. So that's simple key value structure of Redis, the key value data structure. You can even shut down your Redis server from client, shut down, no save. And if you go into your previous tab, you will see that your Redis is already terminated. We will understand what is Redis configuration file. So you can just Google search Redis configuration file and you should find this page or you can find this page in the description of this video. Let's go through this configuration file on high level for version 7.2. You will find a lot of information here about the properties. Uh, every property has been explained in detail with its use cases. For example, this is port property 6379 is a default port for Redis server, but we can change this port if you change this number over here. There are a lot of settings like replication setting, password authentication, security setting. We'll go to different settings in our next chapters as we discuss particular point. In previous chapter, we saw how we started Redis server without any configuration file. And we saw a warning that Redis was started with default settings. So the port which is default 6379 was used by Redis server for startup. Now in this example, we will be using Redis configuration file and we will try to run Redis server on some different port. We will create a configuration file redis.config and then we need to add port number in this file. So I will use sublime for editing and port space 7. Let me use 6380. We are just incrementing one port number and save. Now let's see what we have in this file. So port number is 6280. We'll use same Redis server command which we used previously but now we will be passing file as an argument. If you are storing your config in some different path you will have to give entire path for your files location and hit enter. So now you can see we have started our Redis server in standalone mode on the port 6280 which we have just set in our Redis config file. Now let me show you how we can connect to different port. I will just open another tab. So the command is same Redis CLI but we need to now pass port and 
port is if you remember 6280 so we need to pass port number as 6280 and you will see like we have connected on 6280 port so again we can tr try to set some value like japan tokyo get japan and returning tokyo usually the best practice is just to copy all this file the example config file for the version which you are using and paste in your configuration file which you are passing to redis server and then just work on settings which you want to change thank you very much for watching this video i hope you understand installation and starting up redis server with configuration file in next chapter we will be looking into redis master slave replication